hello it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine I've come on with um, two entries into my challenge today um, it's just after half past five 25 to six almost um, and I've been cleaning all day again I am absolutely shattered I hate cleaning and uh, Blue is just coming to have a look hello she has been very confused by all the activity that I've been uh, doing um, because it's very unlike me. <laughs> yes, and I've realised I've got a lot to do. You know when you start a job and you wish you hadn't. Anyway, um, I've got my first international entry from uh, Crafty Sue 519 and um, I've covered our addresses up but look she's got her own little sticker how gorgeous is that? Um, blue. <laughs> oh, she's just sat by the side of me sniffing my glue. <laughs> that sounds bad, doesn't it? Sniffing glue. I'm a bit hyper because I've I've done nearly all my jobs on my list today, and I'm going to cook dinner in a minute. Anyway, uh, back to these lovely entries. So yeah, Sue's got this lovely uh, label with a little butterfly on because if you know Sue, she is rather partial to a butterfly. Um, and uh, there's butterfly stickers which have got some dimension which are lovely I don't mean dimension I mean sparkle um, so let's have a look and see what is inside first international entry I'll leave Sue's channel down below She's a very prolific crafter and a very generous crafter as well. Oh, this is lovely paper. Reminds me a little bit of the Hortensia paper. Um, how does one become a butterfly? You must want to fly so much that you are willing to give up being a caterpillar. That's lovely. And this die cut kind of filigree butterfly here is rather lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous paper. And there's a little sparkly gem there. Oh, let's have a look and see. So she's made me a card created just for you by Suzanne Nocco. All these people who have got um, stamps. And it says, Hi Ashley, here is my ATC entry into your challenge giveaway. And since making cards is what I love to do most, I also made this card that you can use. I hope you like them. I do. Good luck with your challenge. I hope you fill a book with ATCs. Hug Sue, Crafty Sue 519. That's a lovely little piece of note paper, isn't it? So that is a gorgeous card. Really lovely quality card base as well. And she's matte and layered inside. We've got this linen paper and there's a space to write your message. That's lovely really lovely so that'll go up on my shelf and then let's have a look at the ATC so I've got her address which I already had because uh, Sue was one of the um, first challenges that I entered her birthday's in May oh I don't think I'm going to get you a card in time but I'll do my best favorite colors are green pink green and pink likes of butterflies snowmen flowers paper in capital letters style i like everything and she's given me her youtube and her instagram which is crafty sue 519 the same as her youtube channel so let's just take this out of the packet and um fighting the sun yes we've got intermittent sun outbreaks oh this is nice so the little word treasure, bring it up a little bit for you. And we've got this iridescent sparkly jellyfish and a little sand dollar here with this lovely background paper that's got an octopus and a treasure, can't say it, treasure chest. So that will go into my box. First international entry, lovely did well to get here so quickly because I think it's only two weeks today since I did the um, giveaway video so that did very well so we'll pop you in the box 
while I'm here actually I don't think you'll see again because it was bright but there is so much shimmer on the ATC from Steph, Woolly Steph. It was too bright yesterday and it's too bright now but there's Wink of Stella on the butterfly and there's kind of gold acrylic paint I presume it is um, on the background of the ATC. And then um, this also has um, the person's name on the back. This is from Julie Pearson who is a subscriber of mine and I just wanted to show you how she's recycled this envelope with this gorgeous metallic blue star tissue paper and then she's obviously written my name there I'll put that out of the way because I shall recycle that it looks like Julie's recycled it and uh, I shall recycle it as well so we have a lovely card oh that is so sweet so there is um poppies i do like poppies and they've been um heat embossed in silver and there's a little goose sticker i do love geese let's see what's inside dear ashley i thought i'd have a go at making an atc i'm not very crafty but like to take part well done on over 100 videos your channel is great from julie pearson and there's a little parrot sticker there that is so lovely and i really really appreciate you having a go and taking part because this is what it's all about having a go and um I absolutely love it. Look at those gorgeous metallic stars. That reminds me of being a teacher with the stars. And lovely craft card. And that is a gorgeous, well-stamped image. So we've got a uh, card. And this is Julie's ATC. I might need to get the scissors to come into this. It's well there. Uh, there's, there's been a liberal use of sellotape, shall we say. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Oh. So. I've got her email address. Favourite colour is pink and rose gold. Favourite pet is a rabbit. Her birthday is in September. I think that's my nephew's birthday, actually. She loves the 80s wine. Yay! Her YouTube channel is Julie Pearson. So I'll put that down below. And I've got her address, which is lovely. Oh, and look, that is absolutely splendid. Absolutely splendid. Because um, a lot of my subscribers aren't crafters, I gave an example of how you could make an ATC just using bits and bobs of what you've got around the house. And this is absolutely lovely so i guess things on here are what make you glad and she's made a little hole and put a paper clip through it with a little bit of pink ribbon and a little gold bell we've got wham which i presume is a band that you like i like george michael i have to say then we've got a little bunny sticker because she says her favorite pet is um a rabbit and uh, we've got a little, I don't know, it's a hamster or a guinea pig down there. That looks like the Arc de Triomphe and a button and heart. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's very pretty anyway. And we've got um, leopard print, zebras and some other kind of animal print. And then my favourite, she's used a little bit of Cadbury's Dairy Milk um, wrapper for a little bit of shiny colour. So that is absolutely lovely and it shows 
non-crafters what you can achieve with just a little bit of thought and um it's stunning i love it so that's going to go in my little box and we shall need to find room for the card on the shelf along with sue's and let's write you ladies in the book so number seven is crafty sue 519 and um she's commented and she was the first person to do a vr for me she was really quick off the mark and i've got her atc so number eight is julie and i'm pretty sure she commented i don't know about vr i need to check whether her channel produces content and uh, we've got her atc so eight entries we're ramping up we're ramping up um thank you very much for stopping by everybody i really do appreciate your support and if you're not a crafter please don't be intimidated by the crafters that are entering i value everybody's contributions equally um i would just be so honored that you took the time to make me a little something take care guys bye